Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's video, we'll learn about how you can find the expensive queries in SQL Server and do the performance optimization. Now, I have already recorded the video for how you do the performance optimization. Uh, and in random comments, I generally get uh, this question, how I need to find those expensive queries. There are millions ways of doing it. Now, today I will explain you how I work on the production server, if I have to, like how I figure it out. So the first step is just asking when is the downtime or when is the less load on the production. At that time, you should be doing this activity for collecting the stats. Because if you do uh, this activity while everything is up, it might slow down the server. So or might you might not be able to collect the statistics. So the first thing you need to ensure is the server is pretty much free or it is the least amount of workload at that time. So that's on, on the management part of it. Now coming to let me explain you how AI works if I have to work on any server to get the performance. Uh, you can say issues noted down. So the first thing is I usually create one database with the performance name on their server so that I can collect all the stats in that server and this is uh, important because when we collect the stats we need it for uh, them for you can say further analysis we don't want them uh, to we we don't want again and again to go to the server to collect the stats it should be one time activity and then we can work on it so we will get the stats stored into this and then we'll perform all the operations so first i what i do is uh, i will share this set of scripts with you so please let me know in the comments if anyone needs it so the first thing is i will just go into my database and create this function so this function just create it don't worry about it this function helps you to get the query uh, of uh, the query text which is the actual query or what need to be done and then we'll do the optimization part or like you can say then we'll see how to uh, see the plan and other thing now once this query part is done the, when you run this into the performance database now the second thing is uh, you need to run this query now this query again i am not going into the detail what this query does but actually in you can say short if i explain this query go into the uh, cache plans the query which has already ran the plans which uh, sql has hold and get the text of that query and just get me all the details what is the uh, you can say in uh, like let me give an example so it tells me what is the minimum logical read by that query what is the total logical read and those kind of thing and execution count how many times that query execute because everything comes into play to get that uh, thing so if i run this query right now let me just comment this into because what i will do is i will try to put that into a query stats table query stats so as of now i will just comment it let me show you the query so this query get me the expensive all the queries what has ran on the server or which are in the cache and I can see all the statistics. What is the total worker time? What is the total uh, last worker time? To a physical read, logical read, all the stats what I need, and the execution count of it. So here you can see there is an execution count as well. Let me just get you that column. So with execution count, you can get the average logical and physical read, which is used for you can say optimizing the queries. So for that, uh, I have a separate lecture. I will be mentioning the link of that video in the bottom. How you tune the query so this is more focused on how you get the query which need to be tuned so what let me do uh, let me clear my cache so that if i clear the cache uh, we should do it in total you can say uh, fresh way so right now if i see there is like couple of queries so uh, not a issue so i'm just clearing all the cache and all so now i will execute two queries one is this query which is on the northwind database which is uh, just getting me all the orders and other thing it's a big query and then there is a second query which is uh, on the student table this is also custom table which i created which will have an index suggestion into it okay so i will run this query and i will go into this database again run the query uh, sorry i will run this query again now if i run my this query it will get me the stats so when I'm running this query, I should not be just directly running it. I should ensure my stats should go into a table so that I can later analyze from that table because this query is very expensive query in terms of resource because it pulls a lot of resource. So you need to ensure you only execute once. Now, a lot of time what will happen is if the server is hell loaded, you might not be able to get all the statistics. So in that case, what you can do is you can get top 100 or top 2000 or 200 uh, so that you should not get all the stats. It might have, you can say thousands of record in the cache. 
So then that uh, can differ from situation to situation if this query doesn't execute for an hour. But if it executes, then run it once and you have collected all the stats into this table. Now, if I go into this table and see, I have all the data. Now, I got the query which I need to run, uh, which I ran, and I want to see. Uh, I want to see the execution plan. So execution plan is also, you can say, been noted out. So what I will do is I will use a cast, cast query underscore plan as XML, comma this, and if I run this, so I will have all the execution plan in XML. So if I just want to run, and also let me just add query underscore text, query underscore text, and if I run. So here I can see the query text. Okay, this is the one which I'm interested. I can just click on the plan and I can see what was the execution plan and what it was. Now, now it comes like how I figure it out which query to work on. So the first stats, what I do is I get the query which has average logical read more than anyone else. So I'll say where total underscore logical reads divided by uh, execution underscore count descending these are the most expensive uh, uh, what happened oh sorry order by i used where order by so if i just get these queries i know these are the queries which are you can say expensive so if i have to see what is the total average logical count i can just put it here and i run the query so these are the query which the right now as we are doing the sample queries only so i know the logical counts are less but in production you will figure it out there will be a huge number of queries which have a lot of logical counts now, there can be a situation where you will see there are 100 queries, but all queries are same. Just the thing is, uh, the person has changed, uh, uh, you can say, uh, customer ID, uh, let's say, likes, like, hey. and if I run this again, so this, there will be like multiple queries. Now, in that case, you need to tell the customer, parameterize your query so that you can collect proper stats because till the time the queries are not parameterized, you will see same query occurring again and again, and the execution count will be one, even though the same query you will see in all the records. Okay. So, okay. Just let me uh, do that case for you. Let's do that case so that you can understand. Let's say drop table. And let me just execute. So what I will do is I will run this query once. I'll change the text to K one more time, S one more time. So now I'm running three uh, queries. Now I'm just changing the text. I, I and add few space to it. The query is exactly same. Just the thing is there is somewhat dynamic text is coming. So the query changes and I will run the second other query as well. Now, if I run my this query again it will create the table again now if i run my this one uh, query so here what you will see is let me get the execution count also along with the query so here what you will see uh, uh, order by not win uh, and you can say database as well database and name comma if i run this query again so here you will see even though I ran the same query and execution count is one, every time there is a new query coming in. And the reason for that is the query is not parameterized because if the query is not parameterized, it will create a new plan every now and then. So what, uh, what you will be telling your customers parameterize your query, how you do that. Let me just show you that one also. Let me just clear the cache buffer so that you can ask your customer in that sense. Uh, so, so you can say it. Uh, so they will be passing at the rate um, param. Let's say I will just do this customer. Okay, uh, param varkar hundred equal to. So I will just cut this one here. And let me just do one thing. Let me. Okay, let me just ensure you like the parameters changes. Uh, what I will do is I will use a, uh, you can say, it, I will create a temporary table. Create table hash pair the customer ID varchar max, let's say, or you can say 100. And I will say insert into hash pair uh, values 
and I will just insert this value. So every time if I have to query, so I can just use this where customer ID in select uh, star from hash pad. And let's say uh, drop table. Hash pad. So what I will do is I will create this one and uh, let me add multiple. Let me just keep multiple here. So so that we can just test it like my plan doesn't see so previously what was happening was i was using a parameter which i was changing every time so what was happening the query was generating every time a new plan and that becomes a problem when you see a custom, uh, a custom screen and you got the stats and thousand queries uh, you collected and all the stats belong to one query and most of the stats belong to so you won't be able to capture an actual picture so first thing is you can advise them to parameterize the query and then you can change it whatever you in the way you so here what i'm doing is i'm running this query and I, now i will run this customer query once twice thrice there's no change in query the same query text now i what i will do is i will insert one more oh, sorry insert i can just directly insert and i will insert one more so the thing is plan for this insert might be every time changing because we are adding uh, text to it changing the text into it but if i run this query again so what will happen this query remains same it won't work so right now i use temporary table but you have to ask them to use parameters like equal to at the uh, at the rate p1 or something like that so they need to pass from the application so that that means the parameterization of the query so now if i collect my stats again ah uh, let me just drop that table drop table this let me just comment this and if i run it again so i got the statistics now if i run the query again so you will notice the one query which is inner join one i executed five times so here you see the count executed uh, count execution count is changing every time there is no new query added then uh, the insert query might have multiple execution because every time text was changing. So if the dynamic query is there, the text is changing, then what you will say, you will see the same query again and again. So if that is the case, ask them to parameterize most of the query and then collect the stats again. Now, how I check is first, I check with the total logical read execution, like the average of logical reads, the query with maximum ex average and more execution count are the one which you need to target because suppose there is a query which do a million of uh, logical reads and that is executed 1500 times a minute or a hour then those queries are the expensive queries which are repetitive but suppose you have a logical read which is like very massive but the query ran once in a month then you can ask them what is the frequency if they say it's once in a month then you can just suggest them to schedule it in the time when the load is less or something like that so uh, once you have this you have all the columns what you need for you can say ordering if you want to check with the worker time the long running queries you can use total worker time divide by the execution count so that you can get the total average worker time and you can just tune the query accordingly so uh, i think this lecture will help you out like how to figure it out uh, i will post this uh, scripts you just uh, put your comment in the uh, comment section for the scripts if you need if you have any question you can reach me on my email id that's yogesh.mail at the gmail.com and if any you can say commercial support you need you can just call me at my phone number also so i hope this lecture would have helped you how to figure it out the expensive query on your sql server uh, if any question, just post it in the comment. I will for sure respond it. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Stay safe.